Hey guys, this is Ben from Bluff Side Birdie. Uh, PDGA number 127324. And uh, I'm going to give you an in depth look what's in my bag. Starting off with the putters, I like to putt uh, classic hard wardens. That's what I started with. Actually, this is the first putter I started with a soft. Um, and these are just super consistent. I like the beadless feel, uh, super gliding, now that they're beat up. Just love them. Um, throwing putters, upshot putters from Most Center Stable. Just put this in the bag. Uh, this is a P1X, beat up now. Uh, super straight. Uh, if you rip on it, under stable. So it's a good approach and good off the tee. Liking it so far. Next would be the soft Warden. First one I ever got my hands on. I used to putt it. Um, and now it's a uh, upshot and a a upshot and approach disc for me. Uh, drips to the ground, throw it on pretty much any any angle and trust it. Next would be my more premium throwing putter slash upshot disc. Uh, let's see, Waffle Warden, hybrid plastic. I uh, really like the feel of these. They're super grippy. Um, just love the feel. Um, and I can pretty much shape anything I need to with this. And sometimes I'll touch forehands with it, um, but mostly backhand. Next would be my staple throwing putter. Uh, this is a workhorse. Uh, I used to throw just about every P2, I believe, um, Sky God, starting with the original um, the second series and now the SG3. Um, this is super stable, super trustworthy. Love it. Um, next would be just added this Aviar X3. It might kick out the harp. Um, I like that it's a little, little shallower, uh, feels pretty good for forehand and backhand. Um, glow zone, just trying to decide what stable disc I like the most, but, uh, this is definitely a contender. And then I've been using the harp for, uh, a long time. This one's obviously stamps gone, beat up. This is a VIP harp. Uh, I think I got three, four aces on it. Really consistent and trustworthy disc, and it's just got a special place in my heart. I don't know if I can get rid of it, but you know, I'm new, so I've tried a bunch of plastic. Going to the main compartment in my bag, this is the way I like to set it up. I like to put my slower mid ranges on the right hand side, it would be my right hand when I look at the bag when I'm approaching it. So, most stable mid range to least stable. Pull these out. So most stable, I added the anvil. Uh, this is tournament, tournament plastic. Um, it, again, trying to find that stable approach disc for, for my game. The harp's feeling a little deep for hands, but I love the harp on backhand. So just trying this out, seeing, the, seeing if I like it. But the uh, anvil is a contender in my bag. And then I have two verdicts. One's a VIP, uh, no, it's a Lucid X, yeah and one's just Lucid. Uh, Lucid X is a little bit more stable, holds the hyzer line pretty good, can handle a little bit more power, um, and the Lucid is a bit more straight with a good good fade on it at the end of the flight. Um, trying the Pine as well. I think it's pretty much the same as the Verdict. Um, big shout out to teammate Sarah. She hooked me up with this uh, pretty kind of Wonder Bread stamp. I'm digging that, but uh, yeah, just trying to contend. I think it's the same flight as a verdict, but come down and feel. Uh, Compass is my straight flyer. This one's getting a little time on it, so um, this is the tournament plastic uh, Compass. Uh, yeah, tournament? Gold line, gold line. Um, pretty straight, like I said. Uh, it's getting some time on it, so it gets a little turn if I really rip on it, but a really straight, reliable mid-range. I'm digging the compass. Um, getting a little bit flippy. Superman stamp, uh, regular truth. Shout out to Jack Conville hooking up with this. This thing has been a pretty big staple in my game. Um, if I need to hyzer flip something down a tunnel shot, heavy woods, usually I'm grabbing for this disc. It's just one that I trust and know that I can rely on it. Uh, I will trust this on uh, 
hyzer shots that just need to kind of float and pan, kind of carry the hyzer angle. Um, but definitely can't rip on this hyzer, it's, it's gonna flip. Um, I also bag a Latitude 64 Fuse, an Opto. Uh, this disc, one of the first discs I picked up, I had a gold line, uh, opted to the Opto to see if it would pull a little bit more stability for me. It's super flippy. Um, I like how you can shape stuff in the woods. If you get it on the, the most perfect hyzer flip line, it'll have that beautiful late fade at the end of the flight um, and even fade back for you uh, to the left a slight bit. <clears throat> Stepping up to fairways, I big what I classify as four fairways. Most flippy is the Saint. Um, this thing's great in the woods. It's pretty much just a faster um, truth. I mean, put it on a hyzer, flip up to flat, ride just a bit to the right, and fade back to the left. Um, great, great disc for shaping shots in the woods. Um, next is a recycled Explorer. I love the feel of an Explorer. So looking to beat this up to pretty much take the place of the Saint. And uh, we're getting there. I think it's just about the same. So I think I can uh, get rid of one disc in my bag. <clears throat> Next would be this fresh Explorer and Opto. Just put it in the bag. Well, because I lost my other go-to. Um, yeah, basically X out op Opto Explorer. Um, super reliable. Throw it straight, throw it on a little bit of ante, throw it on a hyzer. Goes where you point it. It's, I throw it a lot and I recommend Trying one of these out if you have not thrown one. Um, for stable fairway, Pioneer Latitude 64, love this thing. Tried the Felon, I mean, it's good, it's great, but when I put this thing in my hand, the clean release that I got forehand right away, uh, just love it. Um, this is in the sparkly whatever, mixed plastic, um, but both backhand, spike hyzers, flat with fade or forehand, Annie, hyzer, everything. Very usable disc. Um, stepping up, they're, 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 they are fairways, but I classify them as hybrids. Um, they go a lot further than my standard fairways usually. Um, for flippy, I have this S-Line PD, and uh, this thing's great. So you can pipe it, pipe it straight, pipe it hyzer flip, put it on a little bit of ante, and if the wind's right, you can rely on it to come back. But um, if I throw it super hard, she's flippy. Uh, used to bag a sergeant, but uh, you know me, I lose everything. So I uh, lost the sergeant. I did bag getaway before the sergeant and before finding the sergeant. Uh, so this made its way back in the bag. So this is just a, it's a little bit further than the, my regular fairways and a little bit less distance than my distance drivers. And this is a getaway first run, uh, pretty stable. All right, I opted up to the Distance drivers. Looks like I bag one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the moment. From Most Slippy. This is brand new to the bag. It's a Freedom. I think I'm probably just going to use this for a utility and roller disc. It's probably not going to be in the bag all the time. Um, but I can get it down on a good roller angle and it goes very far. And it's very flippy. Um, if you got the right tailwind, it'll go far for you. And my go to Sheriff. Uh, this thing was the first sheriff I ever got. Still, somehow, I have not lost it. And I think this is the furthest flying disc in my bag if I hit it right on the perfect angle. Um, pretty sure this is what's got me over 500 the most consistently. Um, next is a Ballista Pro. This one's a little flatter top and the Opto Max weight. Um, just doesn't have that pop top and doesn't have that super big dome. I don't know if you can see it, but. Um, this one I, I will throw forehand and backhand. It's a little bit less stable than the other um, like pop top optos, uh, which I really dig. Um, but this is a good one for my forehand, getting the, you know, putting it on the hyzer angle, letting it flip up and ride. Um, and it's a max D uh, backhand disc. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is Clint's disc. Uh, he let me use this uh, last weekend at uh, JTO. Um, this is a bomber disc, uh, just Ballista Pro X out, optoplastic, pipe it flat, it goes for days. Get a little bit of turn, it'll it'll fade back. Um, yeah, if he, if he doesn't take this back, uh, probably is a good disc for me throwing up to 500 feet. 
Um, next, probably just a step up from that is XL Raider, lucid plastic. Actually got a warm up base on this forehand. Um, just a good disc. Uh, it's in the bag, kind of just trying to trying to decide if I really love the Ballista Pros, which I, I love those things. Um, and this sometimes feels a little bit better in my in my hand for my forehands. Um, uh, very stable disc though. Step up from that when you're really needing needing some stability. Pop top, gold line, max weight, Ballista Pro. This thing is a workhorse in the wind. Um, if you if I absolutely pipe it um, in a headwind, it'll get a little bit of turn, but she's always coming back left. Um, great disc. And the most stable disc in my bag is this Color Glow, uh, Color Glow Destroyer Max Weight Pop Top. This thing is very stable, very stable. Um, and that's pretty much why it's in my bag. If I absolutely don't trust anything that we just went through, I'm grabbing this because I know I know I can really get on this and it's gonna fade left, absolutely. So that is my discs. Um, some other stuff in my bag. Let's see, I'll spin this around. So uh, left hand of the bag when it's on my back, I always keep a towel, uh, whale sack to dry my hands and just picked up a birdie bag to try them out. Right side is my water all the time. Never, it's always there, always, always got water. And then looking at uh, the sides, I got pencils, I got a Sharpie. Opening up the uh, left side of the bag, I have tape for my finger, um, new skin if I get a cut, bandages. Of course, gotta have snacks. These are like the best thing ever. Get them at the dollar store, power blend. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, got the hand sanitizer for the crazy times. Uh, my meter and diabetic stuff, always in my bag. Left side birdie, uh, gator face covering for the weird times. Uh, looks like I have a backup infusion set for uh, my insulin pump. Totally forgot, but it's good to be prepared. And uh, let's see. Keep my phone in the side, along with my mini to mark my lies. Extra, extra towels for those rainy days. Uh, extra whale sacks. Looks like I got another uh, beaded hand drying sack. Oh, what do you know? Oh, half eaten chewy bar. Another chewy bar. Gotta have those snacks for those lows. The main compartment. This is where I hang my keys. I'll keep my wallet up here. Uh, some peanuts. Ooh, more snacks. Glucose tabs. Looks like we got a bag of almonds. I, I come prepared with the snacks. Uh, some, some chapstick. Shout out to chapstick, you know. And uh, some money for pay to play courses. And, you know, I'm just always cashing, so. <laughs> but uh yeah this has been a, my in the bag i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope um i hope you get some insight about what this you might want to try and uh let me know if i'm if i'm missing a key key tool in my bag thanks for watching